bill aimed at allowing teachers to permanently remove students from their classrooms is one step closer to becoming state law. The House passed that bill this week. Reporter Cameron Taylor explains supporters say the bill will help teachers manage classrooms, but critics argue it could negatively impact children of color. Quite simply unacceptable. Sonia Thomas is a mother of four. She's also the executive director for a parent group called Nashville Propel. Thomas worries about a bill going through the state legislature known as the Teachers Discipline Act. And so I'm afraid that a child will be exposed to a teacher who is not connected to their community, who does not understand their worldview, and who will be biased and assume that that child is a bad child. The proposal would set up a process for teachers to remove a student permanently from their classroom as if they're constantly misbehaving. Republican State Representative Scott Sapicki is the sponsor of the bill. One of the main reasons why teachers are leaving the profession right now is not being able to get control of their classrooms. The bill includes six steps like parent-teacher conferences. Sapicki says it would protect students with special needs. Removing a student from the classroom would be the last resort. To make sure that a teacher cannot arbitrarily remove a student from a classroom. If all options are exhausted, Sapicki says the school board would give recommendations to the principal or superintendent that could could include virtual learning or the student being assigned to another classroom. Democratic state lawmakers are raising concerns about the measure. Those exclusionary practices are not successful. They don't make for safer schools and they also you won't see a decrease in the behavior. That's why Johnson wants to find positive ways to impact behavior in school discipline. For parents like Thomas, she believes there's another way too. I think that sometimes we don't ask enough questions. We just um, assume that that children are uh, bad and we never think to ask them what's wrong. The Senate is expected to take up that bill on Thursday. If it passes, it will head to the governor's desk to be signed into law.